So today I'm doing some chest and back, and I planned on doing some uh, biceps as well, but I had uh, something to go to, so I only had a limited amount of time. I only had about 45 minutes in the gym, 40 minutes or so. So what I did was I uh, decided to do a little bit of heavier bench press today, and uh, I'm having trouble finding my groove today, you'll be able to tell, but uh, I start to get uh, some speed by the time the fourth or fifth set starts to come around. Uh, but sometimes because of my shoulder injury, uh, my dislocating shoulder injury, which isn't causing me any pain or anything, so it's not like I shouldn't lift, uh, but what happens is that when my shoulder shifts just a little bit, sometimes my groove changes, so it takes me a little while to find my groove some days when I bench press, depending on what muscles are tight or not. So it's kind of an interesting sort of problem that most people never deal with, but uh, but anyway, it's not a big deal. So I just warmed up really well, like I always do. I did a few sets of 135 for bench press, and then I did a few sets of 225. So as you can see, I could touch my chest and lift the weight easily, but I choose not to because I find that the weight and the stress stays on the chest muscle when I don't go all the way down. When I do go all the way down, I find that I just end up stretching the delt more, but I don't necessarily get more of a stretch in my chest. So it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't really work for me. So I know some people, depending on how they're built, it does work for them and that's the perfect thing. But for me, uh, not the right, right thing. So just so you know, I can lift the weight by touching my chest, but I just choose not to. So here I am with 315, and uh, sometimes the first few reps I'm a little bit more careful with the range of motion too, and as I move along sometimes the range of motion will uh, become more pronounced just because then I'm warm and I don't have to worry about any snapping, you know, nothing <laughs> snapping anything up. But uh, as I get my groove down, it's, it's just pretty stable. I could go for another rep or two, but because I don't have a spotter, I don't want to do that. And at the same time, when I'm using this type of rep range, I try not to hit failure on my sets. Uh, I may have a rep or two left in me, but I, I don't hit absolute failure because that's uh, more of a risk and I find that's where the injuries usually happen. And the point is to get used to handling this type of weight. I want to get used to handling this type of weight so my nervous system knows what's happening, my muscles know what's happening, and the groove becomes perfect. So. Uh, if you can get multiple sets in with heavier weight, it's it's pretty effective in gaining strength because your body seems to establish a new homeostasis and really gets used to it. So just a few days earlier, I could do a, a few more reps with 315 on the bench, but because my diet has not been the best in the last few days, I haven't eaten enough, I've noticed the bench press has gone down. And that's the neat part about this training thing is that you see constantly what is working for you in your diet and what's not based on your performance in the gym and your sleep as well. Sleep also plays a factor. Uh, but so I did about four sets of 315 and then I just repped out with 225 at the end and I didn't take any rest really in between the 315 set and this set. And you can see I'm just touching my chest to show you that I can, but I don't like it. <laughs> I have to say I don't like it at all. It doesn't really uh, feel good to me. So that's why now I start to continue the bench press uh, set like this. So it just keeps that constant contraction of the muscles. Now I did something interesting with pull-ups today. I changed the rep speed and it's really interesting when you do this. First you want to be warmed up, you want to do a few slower sets, you know, just to warm up your muscles and your joints. But what you can do is power yourself up as fast as possible and you'll notice that you'll get a different type of soreness in the lats. And as I record this voiceover right now, my lats are still sore, even though it was a couple days ago that I did this uh, exercise. So you'll notice my rep speed starts to change. Sometimes I change it during the set, sometimes I change it uh, from each different set. So this one I'm, I'm focusing on now, powering up, powering up, right? It's fat, just exploding, right? And the explosion, it almost simulates having weight on your, on your legs. It, it simulates that type of uh, experience. So you start hitting the fast twitch fibers, which are really responsible for a lot of muscle growth. So it isn't a bad idea to explode in some of your positive or, or concentric contractions. So now I'm doing a set slower, see? So I've already hit fatigue a lot just because of the power movements I did in the previous sets. And so then I slow it down for a few sets and just see, and man, my lats are already dead. It's, it's amazing how this works, but just changing the rep speed up in your workout can really be a, a neat way of confusing the muscle and causing some adaptation. So here I am just thinking, geez, this can't be right. Why did my last low set work out so bad? And then I'm, I'm doing this again just to see, okay, what's, what's going on? And I'm really feeling my lats strongly. So it's been quite a while since I've actually done the power movement uh, with the pull-ups. I don't know why, but I just kind of, you know, sometimes you, you apply a technique a few times in your life and then you kind of forget about it and you haven't, you haven't done it for a while. Uh, but for some reason I was motivated to do this today. So now I'm ending off with a slower set. 
of, uh, of pull-ups, right? A few slow reps, right? And now I have to cheat up a few because when you do the slow reps, you just totally fatigued a lot and then you can't get any more. So just to make sure you guys know I'm just not a total fat guy and I actually have some sort of back development. Here you go. I just took my shirt off and snuck in a set <laughs> so you can see what's going on here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I don't have anything left on my lats now at this end, the last, last set. So yeah, I hope that helps you with your workout. And uh, later on, uh, I went home and I did some buys and tries. Actually, I actually en ended up hitting another body part. Um, but I waited till after dinner, the dinner appointment I had, and then I went home and then I just did four sets of bicep curl and four sets of tricep uh, French curl. So I, I hope you get something out of this video and uh, make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you again.